Hey writers, and welcome to another writing prompt. And today, what we're going to be talking about relates a little bit back to imagery. So if y'all remember my video on imagery from last year, you'll know that I find imagery really important to a story because beyond the basic things of what's happening in the plot, I feel like utilizing imagery in your storytelling is a really great way to sort of flesh out the world that you're in or that the reader is in, so that way they can better connect to the characters at hand. But whenever we think of sort of developing imagery, we think of developing an image in our mind's eye and then writing to paint that image as best as we can. However, what if we were to try it the other way around and start with the image and then write to sort of describe what's going on in that image? There's a band that I really loved from the 1990s as an example called Nine and Snails, and they made an album called Ghost, in which for each song that they were going to record on that album, they put an image up on the wall and then tried to make a song to reflect that image at hand. And basically, what I want to do in this writing prompt is the same thing that they were doing in their process, but with writing. So, what I'm going to do is, here in a moment, I'm going to present a series of five images. And for each of those images, I want you to sort of ask some questions to yourself. Uh, you know, what are some things that could be happening on that image that's not explicitly portrayed? You know, what maybe could have led up to that image? What could have come after that? And just various different things on how you could develop something outside of that singular image that you're seeing. So, without further ado, let me present the images and then we'll talk about them just a little bit. All right. Alright, so now that you've seen those images, I want you to think through and think about which one was the most compelling or intriguing to you. And then I want you to take that image and put it up somewhere where you're going to be able to see it. I'll include the five images in the article that this video will be linked to as well. So no worries if you don't want to, you know, have the video on pause the whole time. But once you have the image up somewhere where you can see it, I want you to think about how you're going to approach this. Because you can approach this in a variety of ways. You can either take that image specifically and sort of describe it in as much detail as you can. Either, you know, describe the image itself or describe what could be going on in that image that maybe we aren't explicitly seeing there. Or, if you want to take a new approach altogether, what you can do is use that image as a sort of centerpiece for your story, but then make your story basically what's leading up to that image or what comes after that image and sort of fill in the blank spaces there. Take us on a journey, but then just use that image as your starting reference point. And that's basically it. I feel like this exercise is really helpful because, you know, you think about visualizing images in your mind and it can be a little bit different than how we actually see images or anything in real life. So I feel like sort of developing this exercise of writing about real images can inform how you're going to write about images that are simply in your mind and make them stronger, make them more fleshed out, make them more well-rounded and full. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Uh, for bonus points, you know, try showing it maybe to somebody who hasn't actually seen the image and see how close you can get to it before, you know, it becomes a little bit different in what the actual image is and what your writing is. And if they are a little bit different, that's okay because, you know, after all, this is just an exercise and you're allowed to take some creative liberties as a creative writer. So, I hope you have a good week. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.